So quite a few of you have asked about the Summit 35 from Summit Yachts, Barry Carroll on the bow. Um, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough because, uh, boy, I think there's been a lot of interest in this boat. So the next IRC killer from Summit um, after the King 40, and this boat is sort of very much in the in the, in the spirit of the King 40. Um, it's a pretty cruisy boat, frankly, and uh, who knows how quick it is. We won't know that just yet, but um, on deck, certainly racing business, but thick aluminum spar, aluminum boom. Hydraulic backstay, pretty standard winch package, conventional pole on this one, and I don't know what the what the breakdown is going to be from pole to uh, to uh, uh, bow sprit, but conventional pole with uh, some clever deck hardware and and uh, like the King 40, it's got nice deck hardware. I don't think this one has powered winches like Suzel does, but uh, um, yeah, Traveler runs on in these little Bensons right here. Fairly clever setup for the Traveler. It's uh, unsurprisingly, Sail put their stickers on everything. Oh wait, Sailing World put their stickers on too. <laughs> how you doing, man? Good, how are you? What's up? I didn't want to interrupt your video. It's all good. This is pretty organic shit, you know? Are you guys sailing this weekend? Uh, I know, no, I'm just here to cover the boat show. Are you? Yeah. Did you go out and practice today? We're going to. I'm going to go hang out with the boys over there later tonight, though, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, so here, we'll take, take you down below in the King 40. As I said, it's a pretty cruisy setup. Yeah. See you later, brother. I always go first. Nice beefy keel attachment. You can see deck stepped rig with a little bit of Vectran. Um, but it's wide down here. And I kind of like this. It's very open back to the quarter berths. And they're fairly large, too. But an open and spacious inside. I gotta tell you, build quality, you know, I mean, this is a demo boat, obviously, I'm sure it's been ridden hard, put away wet, um, but, uh, eh, I don't know, it's got a plastic headliner here, it's got sort of this faux, faux wood slats, um, let's take a little, little bit of detail work. It's got faux carbon sink, a lot of faux. Uh, this is like a Formica-ish thing. So, I mean, pretty standard little burner, little microwave. But look, it looks like it, this is a sort of a bit of a budget-built cruiser racer. Obviously working hard to get the IRC credits for the aluminum rig and some of the more cruisy bits. Um, she looks real pretty in the pictures, under sail, pretty roachy mane and small jib, um, you know, backstay battery, it says, uh, it looks like a hydraulic backstay, maybe that's for the hydraulic pump, but I don't know, um, got access to the Volvo Penta engine in here and underneath the stairs, and um, that's about it. Oh, one more thing is, uh, is there is a head right here. So, I don't have standing head room. At 6'2", my head is banging into the roof a little bit. Uh, I guess there's our verdict. There's the Summit 35, and uh, I guess we will be seeing her on the circuit pretty soon. Cheers.